Hello everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial. Uh, now before we start, I just wanna say thanks for all the good comments. I really appreciate that. So let's start. Firstly, enter our functions module. We're we'll fixing a bug that I found, uh, which is when uh, it's going to wait two seconds each time it shows the, uh, the imposter or the crewmate frame to a player. So let's delete these lines. Instead, we're going to add a remote event to, rep to replicate the storage. Remote event. Rename it to show UI1. Add another remote event. Rename it to sh show UI2. And that should be it. Okay, so now we're going to write a uh, game. Uh, no, if V can find first child. Imp imposter value then game dot replicate the storage dot show UI one con fire client v else game dot replicate the storage dot show UI two con fire client And Roblox Studio just crashed. Colon fire client V. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our uh, main screen GY. Crewmate frame, make it visible. Background transparency, set it to one. Text label, which is inside of the uh, crewmate frame. Text transparency set it to one and text stroke transparency to one. So now do the same thing for the for our imposter frame, make it visible. Background transparency one text label text transparency text transparency to one, text stroke transparency to one, and add a local script to our imposter frame, local script, and Roblox will just crashed again. Uh, game, dot replicate the storage, dot show you why dot show UI one dot on, on client event common connect function player uh, for I is equal to uh, actually what we're gonna do is, uh, what this does is uh, it gives it a really nice fading animation so right now uh, we're gonna go to zero we're gonna start from one each time we're gonna go up by 0 0.05 do script dot parent dot background transparency is equal to y script dot parent dot uh, text label dot background dot uh, text transparency is equal to y script dot parent dot text label dot text transparency uh ah, text uh, transparency not text stroke transparency text transparency is equal to y and that should be it let's test it Uh, I forgot to change this to one since I'm just testing my game. Let's view the output. We don't have any errors. Okay, so it's not actually working. Player GY main, imposter frame, text label. Oh, because we didn't add a weight. 
0.05 this should work it worked but not really Put zero point. Why do I have this thing on my screen? Zero point. Uh, this point zero one. Do. Okay, so it worked, which is great. Let's see if it's going to work again. Start in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You are the imposter, and it it fades out with no problem. Great. I'm just gonna make this weight smaller. Zero point zero one. So now it fades faster. Let's wait for it to stop the game. It crashed. Okay, so duplicate the script, drag it inside of our crewmate frame and uh, change this show UI 1 to show UI 2 and now we're gonna test it with two players test two players Why is this taking so long? Let's try that again. To see if it's working, we're gonna uh, go to our functions module and we're gonna change this to 2. Four players needed. Okay, so both both of the frames are working. Let's put this back to one. Okay, so now we're gonna make a top-down camera view, just like Among Us. Uh, so let's go back to our starter GUI. 
add a local script local player is equal to game dot players dot local player local camera is equal to uh, workspace uh, call and wait for child camera Uh, local uh, off local let's call it uh, offset is equal to 20 uh, game actually we're gonna get the run service first local run service is equal to game call and get service run service and now we're gonna write a run service dot render steps con connect function low uh, if camera then camera dot c frame is equal to c frame dot new player come wait for child character dot humanoid root part dot c frame dot p plus vector three dot new zero comma offset comma zero comma make sure you put the comma outside of this bracket outside of it comma uh, copy this line player come away with child character dot humor your part dot c frame dot p paste it here and that should be it i hope this works let's see if it's going to work from the first time <sighs> it crashed again So it's not actually working. Player call my wife child. Oh, I know why. I wrote uh, player call my wife child character. Just write player dot character dot humanoid part. this should be working okay it's working studio is acting so weird
okay so the higher this number is the higher the camera will be if we change it to to 50 or something is it gonna the camera is going to be much higher in the sky and also you can add a uh, little end goal to here just change this to like um, five or uh, nine and as you can see our camera is now uh, tilted a little bit just put it to five Here we go, that's better. Okay, so guys, this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this, uh, if you found this helpful, please like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.